Welcome. Welcome all to this new program, TV program, specifically of the Participatory Group and Initiative by UNED and the City Council of Madrid to work on citizen participation. Today we've got the luck to have one of its main stakeholders, the council member in charge of citizen participation of the Fuenlabrada Town Hall, Javier Boquesa. How are you? I'm doing wonderfully. How about you? Well, the first thing that we wanted to ask you, Javier, are the main characteristics of what you do in the Council of uh, Citizen Participation in Fuenlabrada. We do many different things. We have more formal participation processes at district level and plenary sessions of district associations. We have a social council, but we've also got work with associations, which at the end of the day is most important. We work with neighborhood associations in Fuenlabrada. We work with the local coordinator of neighbor associations, which is a very interesting platform. And we carry out many co-governance processes like the co-governance workshops with the neighbors and we support them individually, both uh, financially with uh, subsidies, for instance, and grants, but also technically for them to be able to implement their projects. We also have association platform called Roundtable for Coexistence in Fuenlabrada, which is formed by 30 different entities with different nature, for instance, regional houses or neighborhood associations, but also migrant collectives associations and the LGBT Association of Fuenlabrada, as well as the Federation of Students' Parents in Fuenlabrada, called uh, FAPA, Union Association, sports associations, so we've got a wide variety of groups. The difference is that they have their own legal personality. They are an association in the whole sense of the world, and we support them financially and technically with grants from the councils. So you help out associations, you encourage gatherings of associations in the framework of your town hall, and you establish participatory dynamics. Thinking about these dynamics, tell the people who are following us, who, what are the main projects that are underway right now in your council? Well, we have got one project in development that requires a lot of effort on our part, which is the renewal of all participatory processes through the renewal of uh, regulations related to citizen participation. All of these have to be renewed because they are not updated, they are obsolete, and we want them to reflect the participatory culture of our city, which is so vibrant and where do we want to go to they want we want these instruments to gather everything related to digital participation co-governance and to create these possibilities because the association fabric is formed by middle-aged people and what we want is for the youth to participate as well to make everything more appealing to them and to regulate their participation. We are working on many other cool projects, European projects specifically, depending on the presidency uh, office. And we have a couple of European projects that are truly wonderful. First one is Camus and the second one is Master Lab. One of them has to do with citizen auditoring of municipal services. And the other one has to do with youth participation that is inclusive through participation labs. I loved uh, the examples that you have given me, but especially the comment about being middle-aged. Nobody knows exactly what middle-aged means. Maybe I'm no longer in the middle-aged category, I'd say. I'm just joking. And now I wanted to ask you about the challenge to renew associations and especially apart from the renewal of generations but also the inclusion of the youth yes that is a true challenge for us because the new participation channels are not always face to face people are used to participating remotely playing remotely and uh, in addition there's a big challenge affecting our societies that people are more individualistic. People are s stuck to their mobile phone screen instead of paying attention to their neighbor. So we need to adapt 
to this new reality, the individualism, the setup of cities towards the future. We're focused more on, on the suburbs now. Yes, I was thinking about this with the co-director of the participatory group, Professor Marta Lora Tamayo. We've thought about how urban planning defines participation spaces and it unlocks or enhances such spaces. And it's very important to define, to, to construct, to build our cities in a specific way. Apart from youth participation in participatory dynamics, which is a priority not only for Fuenlabrada, but for Europe and Spain to have a truly democratic society, what other challenges do we think we'll face in the following years? Well, our priorities include continuity and renewal, as I was saying before, but also following or keep working on European projects and especially making the youth hooked on public participation, on, on wanting to participate in associations, neighbor associations, etc. Another key challenge that is very interesting and a priority to us is let's keep working with each with a human rights perspective. Fuenlabrada is a city with many migrants populations. So how many nationalities are present in Fuenlabrada? More than 120 nationalities and uh, there are 1,000 associations. So I'd say it's a very participatory citizenship, a very diverse citizenship, and it's important for everybody to feel identified, to feel that they belong to Fuenlabrada equally. So the council is moving towards a more cross-sectional dynamic because participation allows you to dynamize all city council proceedings. Yes, of course, I totally agree. We want to work cross-sectionally with that human rights-based perspective. We want to be very inclusive and we want representation of all collectives in decision-making spaces. So this mirror, so to speak, where political representatives are reflected has to do with co-governance workshops or experts days where civil society tells us whether we're doing things well or not. And we especially want people to feel included, to feel part of the city. How lucky are we to count on you today? Thank you for coming here because in a way Fuenlabrada's participation model is based on super diversity. It's extremely complex. It has so many groups, interests, collectives, but it's dynamic enough to make this a city that belongs to everyone. So now that you are just getting started with your term, you've become a council member very recently, what, could you mention one or two targets for the next four years? One or two? Yes, if you had to tell me, Antonio, in four years, invite me again. And I'll tell you everything that I've accomplished, even though I hope you come sooner. What targets would you like to set for yourself, even if you meet them up to 40% or 20%? Well, first of all, I'd like to create regulated participation processes that reflect how we are working and that are worked on with civil society. That is my main focus. Everything that we want to do needs to be fully regulated and there needs to be a thorough participation. That is my main focus. But secondly, I also want to see a continuity of European projects, the European projects that I mentioned. There's, it's one thing to carry out a project with its starting date and end date. For instance, the participation labs for the youth called Master Labs are targeting the youth they are very inclusive. It's amazing because they guide or they help public services become more inclusive in all of their activities. And they also collect what the youth want. But if this is a one year project, what we want to think about is, well, how can we make the youth interested in working with us in the future as well. We need to create spaces for them to keep working hand in, hand in hand with us. In the CAMUS project based on citizen auditing, we also see an interest in keeping them going after the end date. We want to create the citizen auditor. 
wouldn't it be amazing for this figure to come to stay to continue forever we want to make cities more democratic and i really hope that we can do this well thank you very much javier all of these projects camus the labs they are all listed in the fuenlabrada's city council website it's wonderful to be able to hear about them and you have many other references and links to these projects in the participatory website and the UNED repository where we publish these videos. Thank you very much, Antonio, for inviting me. Thank you very much.